see things uh, ramp up a little bit, especially along the coast, which means we're in store for quite a, a wet one here. Soon. Yeah, that's right. The next couple of hours are going to get wet. That's for sure. Now, as you head out the door this morning, uh, right now we're getting some light showers in the area, but it's going to come in between about 8 and 10 a.m. And what you're going to notice is the winds will start to pick up. They will be from the south and uh, then they'll transition to more of a west southwesterly direction. And it's going to be brief, heavy rainfall for a duration of about 40 minutes between about that uh, 8 and 10 a.m. mark. Now, as we go through the afternoon hours, once the front pulls through, we could get a few sun breaks coming in here in the afternoon hours. Now, temperatures will drop behind the frontal boundary and then they'll rebound just slightly around 3 p.m., about 55 for the high when the kids head home. Still some spotty showers around through the evening hours. So if you're headed to the Timbers game tonight, expect mostly cloudy skies with spotty showers. Still a little breezy out there with winds gusting to around 20 miles per hour. So as we look at the currents this morning, we're at 55 degrees. Temperatures jumped about 5 degrees within the last hour. Southeast winds right now at 13 miles per hour at the airport. And notice the shower activity in downtown. But as we look towards the west, this is the main event really starting to pull in around Astoria, Cannon Beach, down towards the Tillamook, Pacific City, and even Lincoln City getting some heavy rainfall now. Winds out towards Astoria have been gusting to around 43 miles per hour. It's not over yet. The main cold front is still offshore right here. That's the main convection that's going to pull through within uh, the next half hour towards the Astoria area. So a little bit further south, you notice the coverage of these showers really starting to pick up. Now, here's a live look in Lincoln City this morning. 51 degrees. Notice it's very wet. Winds have been picking up right now. Sustained at 14 miles per hour, but the gusts are a lot higher. Newport, 32 miles per hour. Astoria, 43, and you've been getting the winds gusting to 20 miles per hour in Salem. So along the coast this morning, we can get gusts up to around 45 to possibly 60 miles per hour. That would be worst case scenario. In the valley, between 25 and 35 miles per hour. And again, this is main morning event. And then once it gets east, we will see uh, winds gusting in the afternoon and evening in the high desert to 40 to 55 miles per hour. So if you're headed to the Timbers game, here's the official forecast for you. When the game starts tonight, spotty showers in the area, otherwise mostly cloudy, temperatures in the 50s. And then by the end of the game, temperatures will dip into the upper 40s, mostly cloudy skies, maybe a few sprinkles out there. So as we time this out for you, here it is. There's the main front pulling in downtown between about 9 and 10 a.m. So this is when we're going to see that heavy rainfall. It will end pretty quickly. And then notice spotty showers after that. I'll stop the clock around 2 p.m. Maybe a few sun breaks between Portland, Salem and Eugene out towards the coast. Spotty showers through 9 p.m. Still mainly along uh, the coast range. Also the Cascades. The snow levels will drop tonight to tomorrow morning, maybe one to two inches up towards government camp. So wet and windy for all of us. Temperatures in the 50s for today. Again, out it will be windy east of the mountains. High is around 50 in Baker City and lower 50s in Hood River and Cascade Locks. 42 for you in government camp with a low near 32. So downtown 55 with a low near 46 and mainly in Portland and the metro area, including Vancouver, will be between about 54 and 56 degrees. Now for tomorrow morning, we could have some showers in the morning and some sun breaks in the afternoon. Saturday, maybe a few showers possible, otherwise partly cloudy. We'll stay dry most likely on Sunday and then another system moves in on Monday. All yes. right. Active again for today for yes, sure. Very active. And of course, we're still talking about Movember. Yes. Want to get the word out and your mustache, your mo coming in quite nicely. It is already loving the comments on Facebook saying that I'm growing a, a nice mustache. Of course, <laughs> I'm doing this for Prostate Cancer Awareness Month, and uh, you can follow me on coin.com slash Movember. Also, enter your pictures, too. If you want to take part in this, this is all for a good cause. You just hit the report it tab and send those pictures in. You can also follow, follow me on Twitter at Riley O'Coin, and then also on my Facebook page. You can uh, upload pictures, and I'll be updating everyone for it. But, yeah, it's coming in nicely. I was laughing because it's day 7, and mm -hmm. I was like, just wait till day 30. I mean, it's uh, just going to be full. I'll keep it trimmed, but you know. Uh -huh. All right. I'm looking forward to it. Looking good, Riley. Thank you.